Um, so thanks for the opportunity, Lewis, um, uh, to come and speak to an audience. And I understand we've got a real mix in today. We've got sort of 60% enterprise and about 40% kind of real enthusiasts from the Bitcoin community. And a lot of familiar faces uh, staring at me at the moment. Um, which is interesting to me because I think that's the, the theme I wanted to touch on, which is uh, for me, the broadest theme I'm seeing at the moment is we're starting to move from this is something underground, this is something that crypto anarchists believe into, into actually this is something that enterprises uh, and government is paying real serious attention to. And it was funny that I noticed it's a blockchain con. Um, I don't know, so is it really a con or is it real? Um, uh, and, and that's kind of what I wanted to, to major on uh, and, and think about because. Anthony and I got into this subject um, sort of late 2013, early 2014, and the thesis that brought us into the subject is one that I think uh, a mark from Bitilicious may still agree with, disagree with me on, which is actually what we find more interesting is the technology than more so than the currency. Don't get me wrong, Satoshi's white paper is beautiful. It is a beautiful piece of computer science. Uh, it is a fantastic piece of game theory <coughs> economics. But it's not necessarily something in which the world's payment system is going to be built on tomorrow. But then, early days of the internet, as Lewis said, would we be imagining Netflix? I, I remember in 96, 97, people talking to me about, nobody will ever use the internet for video. That's insane. I've, have you heard my modem? It makes silly noises. I'm not going to watch video through that. I'm going to go get a DVD instead. So I think there is a fair argument that says Bitcoin could be something interesting. But the technology itself, this ability to move family around the world in a verifiable way near instantly, is tremendously powerful. Think about the pain that enterprise has today. Right? The biggest pain in enterprise, without question, is compliance overhead, paper, and dealing with the slowness of all of that. Right? Every time you go to make a really big transaction with a bank or move money around the world, and I think this is where Bitcoin started, Somebody fills in a paper form, and then somebody looks at that paper form and hands it to somebody else who signs the paper form, who hands it to somebody else who scans it in, and sends it to another office at the other side of the world, who sends that to another bank who prints out the paper form, and then signs that paper form and hands it to somebody else just to make sure that they weren't colluding with each other to commit fraud. And all of that is time, money, inefficiency. That means if you're a big corporate, a corporate loan can take you know, from having agreed to having actually have the money hit your account and take those gifts. So the potential in having cryptographic proofs, in having a technology, having a ledger that everybody can see and share, that is maintained, is with always been the accountant's wet dream, right? From an accountancy standpoint, the ability to have something that maintains itself and keeps a verifiable record of the truth is very, very powerful. But the architectures for that are still, I think, up for debate. And it'll be interesting to hear from Lee Brain later on today, and we've had many debates on this subject, really, what's the right answer for enterprise? What's the right answer if you're going to rebuild the global financial system? If you're going to rebuild how diamonds are traded around the world? If you're going to rebuild how custodian banking works? If you're going to rebuild the Internet of Things with something with a low-cost infrastructure? If you're going to look at all these possibilities that are in front of us, <coughs> What is the right architecture for that? How do you make it real? Because my fear at the moment, if I can leave you with a thought and for discussion today, is that whilst the Bitcoin community is probably getting really depressed at the moment that now the banks are paying attention, and getting really depressed because now enterprise is getting excited, the opposite risk is true for, for enterprise. I think we're starting to see this as snake oil. This can do everything. It can bench press the earth. All the things I ever wanted are possible because you could put a blockchain on it. Um, makes me think of a Beyonce song, I should be doing this somewhere. There's a real risk. So why should we be paying attention and what should we be doing about it is something that I want you to hold in the back of your minds today as you go through this conference and think about what are those use cases, how do you make them real, how do you test it, and how do you build those proof of concept? Because this technology is very, very nascent, very, very early. But to my mind, that accountant's wet dream is really actually in grasp. You can have cryptographic proofs that are verifiable, that avoids all of the cost of paper, that avoids, as Leanne would say, provenance being locked in paper. All of that pain, all of that cost. So I hope you enjoyed today. Thank you, Lewis, for the opportunity to speak. And I hope that was a useful context for you.